hello friends. You guessed it, this is video four of five that I am posting this week, all about Honest Beauty. I've already posted three dedicated videos to the categories of Honest Beauty's face products, cheek products, and eye products this week. If you're interested in those, go ahead and check those out. I'll have them linked in the description box down below. Today, we are reviewing the last category, which is Honest Beauty's lip products, namely their lip gloss, lip crayon, lip balms, and their liquid lips. And then tomorrow's video is going to be me putting on a full face of these products and ranking them for you from what I would not repurchase to what I would repurchase and therefore what I think is not worth your money up to what I think is. But without further ado, let's get into these lip products. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a lip product review if we didn't take a trip to Swatch City. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to swatch in order from lightest coverage to fullest, swatching on my lips, and we're gonna swatch first and talk second. Let's roll that swatch montage. was so much on my lips. I just slathered one of those lip balms back on because my lips have been really dehydrated all week anyway. Last week I went somewhere that was an outdoor area for like hours all Saturday and I forgot to bring lip balm and it was kind of cold and I was really active that day. I just damaged my lips a ton and I've been making up for that all week. So my lips are not happy with me right now. So if they still look kind of irritated after the swatches, that's why. Or it could be that you just put a ton of makeup on your lips, Samantha, and then it rubbed it off in between each one. Could be that. But all right guys, now that you have actually seen all of the swatches and on my lips, let's talk about these products because I have some thoughts and we're starting with the worst one. The Vitamin C Lip Gloss. They have a couple different shades of this. I haven't really tried one of the like colored ones. I don't know what the tints look like. I got a clear one because I truly wanted just a clear lip gloss. I realized at some point along the way when I was growing my lip collection that I just didn't buy a whole lot of clear. I bought some sheer stuff like this. But for those days you want just like a high gloss clear look, I didn't have anything. So I bought this during that time. I realized that a couple months ago now. I just spilled coffee on myself. Does coffee remove makeup? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. All right. There's totally some on my shirt too, but we're just gonna pretend it's not there. Anyway, what I was gonna say is when I first bought this product, I used it every day for a week when I had some pretty chapped lips and it made the skin around my lips break out. Lo and behold, I go to look at the ingredient list after I've been using it for a week. That's my fault. And it's got coconut oil in it. If I had to guess, that would also be why this next issue exists. I found that it has some strange grains in it, like little nubs that kind of come out with it. And it is not so many of them that I feel like it's meant to exfoliate. And this isn't like a lip scrub. It's supposed to be something you just apply and keep on. But I wonder if the coconut oil, if not at the correct temperature, sometimes clumps and creates those little rock things I've been experiencing. It's not all the time, but sometimes I find one in here. It's just not my favorite product from Honest Beauty. If you were thinking about buying this, I would probably tell you not to. Unless of course your skin just loves coconut oil, then this might be for you. Okay, let's talk about these lip balms. I'm in love with them. 
I might just buy every single shade that they have. They have this kind of waxy feeling to them, similar to like a traditional chapstick, a little more liquidy, but unlike a traditional chapstick, it actually hydrates your lips while also including that waxy feel that almost smooths over the entire lip and creates this barrier that looks so plump and juicy. Exhibit A, my lips right now. But I've absolutely been falling in love with these. I feel like they're actually hydrating. They do something for my lips and they are the perfect amount of tint. They're still sheer. They're still stiff enough that they don't bleed outside the lines, but if you do get some outside the lines of your lips, it's not gonna look that crazy. It's kind of just a no fuss product. Moving on to the lip crayon. I'm sure a lot of you in the swatch montage were like, Samantha, what did you do to that thing? It's not my fault. And this particular circumstance gives me the opportunity to explain on this channel, on this platform, I don't think I have yet, that I hate lip crayons. This is the only one I own now. I had a Mineral Fusion one that was beautiful, by the way. I'm not saying this isn't beautiful. I'm saying this situation with packaging needs to stop. I've never owned a lip crayon in my life that didn't have a cap like this, that didn't pop off in every purse clutch or bag I've ever owned. That's how this happened. Not only did it pop off and smudge all over the cap, some of this is inside, some of it is outside, but it rubbed against a ton of other stuff in my purse, got lipstick all over the purse, and then now it is just completely deformed. And not a lot of packaging issues will stop me from using a great product, but frankly, the quality of this is not what comes to mind when I think about this product. It is the frustration the pure annoyance with the packaging that comes to mind when I look at this. And now that I've gotten that mini rant out of the way, I do like the product. I don't love putting it on my lips anymore because it has rubbed against so many external items in my purse that like, I wouldn't want touching my lips, so why would I want to apply this if it's touched them? But for the sake of today's video, I did, and I do like the quality of this product. I will use it as a lip crayon sometimes. I think it's a really cute, flattering shade. This is the shade Honey. And more often than I use it on my lips, I will use it on my face as a blush, which I actually do with these next products too that I'm about to tell you about. Ah, the Honest Beauty Liquid Lips. Continuing that thought that I just shared, I do put these on my face sometimes. They apply as a really beautiful blush and they won't move if you're looking for like a matte blush. These do dry down to be matte. I did not take the time in the swatch video to let every single one of them dry down, but trust that they go on a little bit glossy, but they do all dry down to a very comfortable matte liquid lip. I also find the lip brushes in here, the little doe foots to be pretty easy to use. When I really take my time with these, I can get a gorgeous lip line without fussing too much about it. They don't move once they've dried down. They are high quality liquid lips for a cheap price. I think that's why a lot of people online rave about these. I am not the first YouTuber to give you this information, I'm sure, but I've bought four of them now. I think I will probably end up buying all six or eight that exist. And the bottom line is that they stay on. They are not transfer proof, but they do have limited transfer. They are comfortable on the lips. They don't make you feel like they're just zapping all the moisture out of your lips and they don't budge or move very easily at all. I often default to this red shade when I'm having like a date night out with Seth. If I really want to be fancy, I will use a lip brush to apply this, but it will stay on through eating a meal, through kissing, through whatever. And I personally think that of all the liquid lips that I've tried that are matte, these fade more gracefully than most. I am not promising that they fade perfectly, but they don't just flake off like some matte liquid lips. If you're thinking about investing, you should really try them. All right, friends, my goal is to have this be the shortest video of the week, just so that I can kind of give you a palette cleanser if you've been keeping up with these Honest Beauty Week videos before the long video I come out with tomorrow. I have given you my thoughts in a brief review on a lot of the Honest Beauty products, but I want tomorrow's video to be about ethics and sustainability of these products. Are you supporting a brand that's worth supporting? And even if these products are nice quality, are they worth fitting into your collection? collection. How would they fit into your collection? What do I see them being most useful for in your everyday life? All of that is coming up. So make sure to look out for that video. Thank you so much for watching this one and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.